Hi everyone! We recently covered the women's assignments for the upcoming Grand Prix season, so this time it's the men's turn. With the men's field being highly competitive and entertaining last season it will be interesting to see how this season plays out. Here we'll take a look at each stage and the skaters assigned to them. But before we start, you might notice that there are many big names missing. As we mentioned in the previous video, the ban on Russian and Belarusian skaters is set to continue, but alongside that, two of the most entertaining skaters on the circuit have retired, Keegan Messing and Maurice Kvitlishvili. I'd like to thank them for everything they've given to the sport, and the circuit won't feel the same without them. First up is Skate America in Allen, Texas. Just like the women's discipline this event has a strong lineup including Vladimir Litvinsev, Steven Gogolev, Kevin Amos, Nika Agads, Shun Sato, Taxia Suboy, Nozomu Yoshioka, Denis Vasilyevs, Andreas Nordebak, Ilya Malinin, Maxim Namov and Andrew Torgashev. The big names to look out for are home favorite Ilya Malinin, aka the Quad God, the always entertaining Kevin Amos, Japanese rising star Shun Sato, and king of skating skills Denis Vasilyevs. Newcomers to the Grand Prix circuit to watch out for include Andreas Nordebak of Sweden and Nozomu Yoshioka of Japan. Skate Canada in Vancouver is next. The skaters who will compete at this stage are Wesley Chiu, Conrad Orzel, Roman Sadowski, Mikhail Solevko, Mark Gorodnitsky, Matteo Rizzo, Kaomiura, Kazuki Tomono, Sota Yamamoto, Mikhail Shadorov, Junhuan Cha and Liam Kapekis. Several skaters who had breakout seasons last year will be making an appearance, including four continents and junior world champion, Kaomiura, multiple-time Grand Prix medalists, Sota Yamamoto, and Kazuki Tomono, and world silver medalist Junhuan Cha. The experienced Matteo Rizzo will also be competing alongside newcomer Mikhail Shadorov who showed a lot of potential last season. Roman Sadovsky can sometimes lack consistency in competition but maybe this home stage of the Grand Prix will be his time to shine. The Grand Prix de France takes place at the start of November with another stacked lineup including Boyong Jin, Adam Shaohen Fa, Daniel Grassel, Nikolai Memela, Yuma Kagiyama, Takuro Amin Kataiza, Koshiaro Shimada, Lucas Britschke, Ilya Malinin, Camden Polkinen, and two, to be determined spots for France, Boyong Jin will be hoping to make a return to form after being away from the Grand Prix series for some time, while Daniel Grassel will be performing on the Grand Prix circuit for the first time under his new coaching team headed by Ateri Tutberidze. Be sure to keep an eye out for Lucas Britschke and recently promoted, Junior Grand Prix Final Champion Nikolai Memela. It's also nice to see Koshiro Shimada get some well-deserved recognition with two spots on the Grand Prix circuit, while Yuma Kagiyama will be hoping to return to the impressive form he had prior to his injury. Ilya Malinin will go into this event as the favorite, and I think one of the main battles to look out for will be with Adam Shaohim Fa, who has recently added to his arsenal of quads. But really, anyone could be in the mix here, given how unpredictable the men's discipline can be at times. Stage 4 is where the Cup of China makes its return. This event will feature skaters such as Adam Shaohim Fa, Gabriel Frangipani, Kazuki Tomono, Shoma Uno, Sota Yamamoto, Mikhail Shadorov, Siang Li, Lucas Broussard, Jimmy Ma, and there are still three to be determined spots to be confirmed. Boyong Jin will likely be assigned a spot here, but it will be interesting to see who China selects for these places. It's difficult to predict, as China have been absent from the competition circuit for a while. A lot of big names are scheduled to be here, including world champion, and last season's Grand Prix final champion Shoma Uno. Sota Yamamoto and Kazuki Tomono are also in the lineup for Team Japan while Adam Shaohim Fa also makes his second appearance for France. Next up is Grand Prix Aspu in Finland. Skaters participating in this event include Vladimir Litvinsev, Arlet Lavandi, Makar Sunsev, Kevin Amos, Nikolai Memela, Matteo Rizzo, Kaomiura, Shun Sato, Koshiro Shimada, Junhuan Cha, Andreas Nordebak, and they to be determined spot for Finland. We'll get to see several well-established skaters in this round including, Kevin Amos, Shun Sato, Kaomiura, Koshiro Shimada, Junhuan Cha, and Matteo Rizzo. This event will be very interesting, and potentially very entertaining, as we'll see a range of diverse skating styles. And finally we head to Osaka, Japan for the NHK Trophy. Our last lineup before the final will feature Mikhail Selevko, Luke Economide, Nike Agads, Gabriel Frangipani, Daniel Grassel, Yuma Kageyama, Shoma Uno, Sian Lee, 
Denis Vasilyevs, Lukas Britschke, Camden Polkinen, and they to be determined spot for Japan. Here we'll see two skaters from Stefan Lambiel's camp, Shoma Uno and Denis Vasilyevs who are well-loved favorites with the Japanese crowd. Yuma Kagiyama will be making his return to major competition at home, in Japan. While Daniel Grassel, who received a warm reception from the Japanese audience at Worlds, will be eager to impress on the big stage. It's going to be a tough fight to see who will qualify for the final in Beijing, China. But before we end the video, I thought it'd be fun to take a look at some program announcements. Starting with Team USA. Camden Polkinen showcased his new short program, A Different Kind of Love, choreographed by Marie-France Dubray. Ilya Maulinen will be working with Shailen Bourne for his new Malagenya short program. And Andrew Torgashev's new free skate is Void of Madness with choreography by Misha Gay. Matteo Rizzo is skating to Dernier Dance for his short program and Fix You for his free. Nikolai Memela has a new short program, Adios Nanino and Inverno Porton, by Astor Piazzola. Meanwhile, he is keeping his Samson and Delilah free skate from last season. Yuma Kagiyama is keeping both of his programs from last season. A few months ago Yuma was in Italy for a training camp with Carolina Kostner and Lori Nickel to refine his choreography and work on his skating skills. Kao Miura is skating too, this place was a shelter, for his short program, and the Attack on Titan soundtrack, for his free skate, which he recently showcased on Dreams on Ice. Nozomi Yoshioka's short, is lullaby for sadness and fate of the clockmaker. His free skate is a Final Fantasy medley. Koshiro Shimada is keeping his popular Sing Sing Sing, short program from last season, and for his free skate he will be skating to Dance Macabre with choreography from his coach Stefan Lambiel. Soda Yamamoto has two new programs. Soda will be skating to Chameleon for his short program and for his free skate, Exogenesis Symphony by Muse, that he recently performed on Dreams on Ice. Kazuki Tomono's new short program, Underground, is choreographed by the one and only Jeffrey Buttle. I believe this is their first time working together, so it'll be exciting to see how the program turns out. Meanwhile, his free skate will be choreographed by his longtime choreographer, Misha Gay, and he will be skating to Halston. Shun Sato showed off his new Libertango short program, On Dreams on Ice. For his free skate he will be skating to the Four Seasons, with choreography by Guillaume Ciceron. Shun has skated to the Four Seasons summer, in the past, so it'll be intriguing to see what the program will look like. Recently, Shoma Uno performed a program, On the Ice, skating to music from Everything Everywhere All at Once. It was choreographed by his coach, Stefan Lambiel, and it looks like it could potentially be his new short program. Nothing is confirmed yet, and he's showcased a few other programs, so we'll soon find out. Wesley Chiu of Canada has a new Romeo and Juliet short program, and for his free skate music, he will skate to the Kill Bill soundtrack. And finally for now in program announcements. Denis Vasilyevs is working with Shailen Bourne for his new Hallelujah short program. That about wraps it up for the men for now. Stay tuned for our upcoming video where we'll cover the assignments for pairs and ice dance. Thanks for watching.